Hello traders! Welcome back ulit dito sa ating YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to have our stock request session. Kung maalala ninyo, last October 15, we posted here sa ating FB page natin asking your requested stocks for me to analyze it for free at ipopost natin dito sa ating YouTube channel in order to help you and guide you sa mga stocks na binabantayan nyo today and probably bilhin nyo siya in the coming weeks or days. But before we proceed on your individual stocks, we will take a look on our index para at least we can see the perspective of the general market as a whole. So kung makikita ninyo at mababalikan ninyo yung mga previous analysis natin regarding sa ating index, sabi ko there is a large probability na i-challenge itong 7300 level of resistance tapos magkakaroon ng kunwari fake out or fake break out dahil may nakikita tayong double top formation kung i-zoom out natin itong chart na ito. So, magkakaroon ulit ng pullback kasi mariresist siya dito sa 7300, ireretest itong 7000 area na support. Tapos, kung hindi ito mag-hold, pwede ang pinaka-maximum na pwede ikababa is around 6600 level. Kasi kung makikita ninyo, nagkakaroon din ng formation na higher lows, di ba? Higher low, tapos higher low dito. Tapos, ito yung probably na tingin natin pinaka-maximum na ikabababa kung hindi mag-hold itong 7000 area of level. Pero, there is a huge possibility din talaga na magkaroon ng pullback kapag nauntog na siya dito sa 7300 level. Now, for my perspective naman, before the year ends, itong 2021, tingin ko ang pinaka-maximum na pwedeng marating ng ating index is around 7300 and maximum is around 7500 level of resistance lang. So again, pwede i-challenge to for the rest of the weeks or until the end of month itong 7300 Pwede mag-fail at magkaroon ng pullback, i-retest itong 7,000 area of support. Then maximum na support na pwedeng i-retest is around 6,600 level. Now, let's go back to the requested stock. So, unahin natin si Madam Christie with her Converge, ASEN, and Monde. So, kung maaalala ninyo, meron na akong ginawang previous video regarding kay Converge and Monde and even kay ASEN. Pero, let's see kung merong pagbabago. And kagaya ng nabanggit ko dun sa previous video is bantayan ninyo itong MA50 kung magbabounce. So nagbounce nga siya pero unfortunately yung second attempt hindi na nag-hold at kung makikita nyo nagkaroon ng breakdown dito tapos medyo umangat kaunti on the last two days di ba? Pero kung makikita ninyo kung i-zoom in natin nag-a-act na yung MA50 as a strong resistance. Now kapag ka hindi to mag-hold pwede yung bumalik yan hanggang sasabihin natin 28 pesos per share all the way down dito sa may 25 pesos per share para i-close itong lower resistive box hanggang dito sa may 23.41 pesos per share. Ngayon, uh, itong, ano, itong movement na to, matagal na nag-warning ako na kahit dito pa lang na do not buy na kasi medyo overextended na itong si Converge tapos yung mga lock up shares kung maalala ninyo is nire-release na, pwede nang ibenta. So, I do not see a possible opportunity for Converge for you to trade or to position. Ganon din si Monde kasi Itong si Monde, kung maalala ninyo, even with my students, naging watchlist namin siya. Ang maalala ko, ang entry point namin is 17 pesos per share. Conservative entry to. Pero ito, uh, aggressive entries around 16.2. No? So, conservative entries, aming newsletter, kung maalala ninyo. So, we made around, sabi natin, hanggang dito, 20%. Kasi nga, may speculation na isasama siya sa index rebalancing MSCI pero it turns out na hindi pala ano kasi speculation nga siya so may risk talaga so nagkaroon ng uh, private placement kung maalala ko itong ano na to uh, September 28 kaya nagkaroon ng huge uh, red candlestick ngayon dapat dito pala nakapag trim down ka na nakapag sell on uh, strength ka na nakapag take profit ka na kung na nandito yung entry point mo tapos tumuli-tuloy hindi nag hold itong uh, 17.8 tapos all the way down dito sa may 17 pesos per share. That's why sabi ko lagi sa group and sinashare ko na rin sa inyo sa public na do not chase prices. Dapat nire-respect ninyo yung trading plan, yung proper entry point. Kasi kung kunwari nire-respect ninyo yung 17 pesos per share tapos medyo nag-vacation kayo ng dalawang linggo o isang buwan, hindi nyo nabantayan. Kahit pa paano, medyo you're on the negative 5% loss. Medyo masakit pero at least manageable, okay? Kaysa naman, kunwari, humabol kayo dito kasi nga, sabi nga, index rebalancing. So, you are now suffering around negative 20%. So, masakit talaga yon Very uh, damaging dun sa ating port compared sa negative 5%. Although, damage, damaging din pero recoverable. Okay? So, next thing with ASEN naman. Itong si ASEN, overextended din tapos merong three large bearish candlestick. 
Ang titingnan mo din is itong 11.14 pesos per share kung mag-hold to. Kasi kung hindi to mag-hold, more likely baka bumalik siya dito sa may 10.14 na significant resistance kasi alam ko all-time high to. Or dito sa may MA50. So either way, pwede mag-bounce sa MA50 or lumusot ng kaunti, uh, i-challenge itong 10.14 tapos dito magkaroon ng bounce. So uh, with those three stocks na tinignan natin, I do not see a good opportunity for you to have a position or good uh, entry point. So next thing, pag-usapan natin yung requested stock ni Boss ARP Gold Converge. Itong Converge na discuss na natin in Monday. So let's go with P Gold na lang. So with P Gold naman, as you can see right now, sideways pa and I think uh, medyo choppy pa rin yung uh, galaw ni P Gold sa market ngayon and I would suggest na you, you should stay on the sidelines muna. And look for another opportunity dahil hindi lang naman si Pure Gold yung pwede mong i-trade. Maraming stocks dyan na pwede magkaroon ng magandang opportunity for you to trade. So, ayun na yung advice ko with uh, P Gold. Then next, let's go to the next requestor, si Boss AJ, no? uh, GT Cup daw and KPPI. So, with GT Cup naman, let's see ha. Ah. Ito, kung may kita nyo, nagkakaroon na, pwede magkaroon ng double top formation. Ayan no? May kita nyo, pwede magkaroon ng double top tapos may doji, no? Sign of reversal to. Kasi high volume, uh, low price action, pwede magkaroon ng double top, pwede bumagsak dyan hanggang uh, sabihin natin 5,000, ay 500 level area of support. Kasi ito yung pinamababa. Or sabihin natin around 520 per share. Okay? So kung kunwari naman tumuli-tuloy, kunwari nag-break out, break out buyer ka, bumili ka dyan, Pwede mong uh, i-target price mo is around 596 uh, or around 600 pesos per share. Tapos all the way up here dito sa may 630 pesos per share. So there's a large possibility nga lang na magkaroon ng double top formation. Very signal. Una yon Pangalawa, itong ending candle. Pangatlo, great volume. Walang uh, price action. Doji. So tingnan mo kung mag-hold itong uh, 573 pesos per share. Pag hindi mag-hold, so pwede pattern completion yan ng double top saluin mo, kunwari, at around 500 pesos or 520 pesos per share kung gusto mong i-trade si GT Cap. However, kung may makita kang mas magandang opportunity for you to trade, eh di mas maganda yun na lang muna ang i-trade mo. Okay? This book, Earning Your First Million in Stock, will teach you the basic principles of fundamental analysis, technical analysis, market psychology, risk management, self-management, and a successful trading system itself. I really believe in order for you to become a consistently profitable trader, kailangan ma-master mo yung limang components na nabanggit ko kanina because they will serve you as an important ingredient in creating your own successful trading journey. Parang if you plan to bake some cookies, hindi po pwedeng mawala kahit isang basic component or else your baking would be a failure. You cannot bake without a floor or a sukal lang ang meron ka, di ba? So, ganun din sa trading. Hindi pwede mag-trade ka na walang technical analysis, merong funda, pero minsan walang market psychology or walang risk management. It is a complete system or trading system na igaguide ko kayo within this book para matuto kayo. Besides that, in this book, I will share you a compilation of my successful trades of not less than 50% in gains throughout my entire 4-year trading career para maaral ninyo at ma-apply nyo sa real-world trading. So next thing, your KPPI stock. Tingnan natin ha, kung ano meron kay KPPI. So I think illiquid si KPPI and I do not see any good opportunity or entry point for you to trade this. However, kung meron ka sariling strategy on to make uh, money on this kind of trade or set up illiquid trade, then go on. Pero for me, I do not see any uh, price structure na nagpo-form uh, for you to have a good entry point dito kay KPPI. Okay, so next thing, itong si Tel, pag-usapan natin dahil naalala ko meron uh, nag-comment na sa ating YouTube channel. So, itong si Tel naman, as, as you can see right now, medyo naging erratic na yung movement below MA9 and MA50. Tapos medyo pangit pa rin yung uh, closing candle niya, shooting star, di ba? So, what I could uh, suggest to you or advise to you is wait for a proper base consolidation para at least makakita ka ng proper entry point. Pero, kung may kita nyo, nagsusupport at around 1,600, di ba? So, pwede ka dito, tingnan mo kung pwede ka maging support buyer tapos ibenta mo around sabi natin 1,700. So, titingnan mo yung profitability mo 
So, masaya ka na ba sa 7% kung i-re-range trade mo? Pero, I do not see any good opportunity muna kay Tel. Kung meron na ako makita ng uh, ibang opportunity sa ibang stock, yun yung uh, sasakyang ko for the meantime. Now, let's talk about kay uh, Boss Edmond, no? si Picor, Nickel, at MBT. So, si Picor naman, eto alam ko merong news yung oil crisis, parang ganun. And I don't believe na parang sustainable yung uh, movement. And kung makikita nyo, on the larger picture, meron ding double tap po na bubo. Double tap, first tap, tapos nagkaroon ng consolidation. And might as well, kung hindi mag-hold itong 7, ay 3.72 pesos per share, pwede magkaroon ng retracement. No? Kasi kung makikita nyo, may resistance somewhere here, may resistance somewhere here. So, ayan. May kita nyo, Ayan o, oh. kung hindi ito mag-hold, nag-resist siya dito sa, sa may 372, pwede magkaroon ng uh, retracement going down back dito sa MA9 all the way down dito sa may 3 pass per share. So, I do not see a good potential kay PCOR. So, hanap ka din ng ibang stock na medyo malinis yung pagkaka-breakout, malinis yung, uh, yung momentum kung gusto mo talaga magkaroon ng profitable trade. Now, with nickel naman, let's see ah, kay nickel, ganun din, I do not see a good Uh, opportunity for you to trade nickel. However, uh, pwedeng stay on the sidelines lang tapos antayin mo kung merong uh, proper entry point or base formation na mabubuo uh, in the next few weeks. So, abang-abangan mo. Kasi, itong si nickel kasi, binantayan ko na rin to. Kung may kita nyo, di ba, ito, uh, meron na akong line na 6.34 pesos per share. Tapos, tinitingnan ko kasi mukhang double tap po. Kung may kita nyo, double tap. Ito yung proper completion ng double tap. Tapos nagkaroon ng triple tap itong pangatlong uh, attempt. Hindi na niya talaga na isagad na i-challenge itong 6.34 tapos bumagsak. So, ganun din mangyayari yung mga sinabi kong uh, mga stocks na nabanggit ko kanina na merong double tap or triple tap formation na merong huge probability na magkaroon ng uh, large correction or pullback. Okay? So, next thing with MBT, kung maalala ninyo, banking stock are trending dahil meron din catalyst yung mga banking stock. Ngayon, ang pag-uusapan natin is how to choose the right stock or banking stock. So, kung si MBT, halimbawa, masakya mo dito, di ba? Kung nalang nakachamba ka, banda dito or dito, medyo uh, system-wise, no? Or technical-wise, medyo hindi siya ganun uh, kaganda yung entry point mo. Kung halimbawa, nakabili ka dito, MA50 breakout, sa tingin ko, hindi siya ganun kaganda uh, yung structure niya compared kay video. So, mamaya papakita ko din. So, with this uh, narrative, pwede din magkaroon ng double top formation kasi kung, kung makikita nyo, humihina na yung momentum at around 50 pesos per share. Observe, observe baha mo kung mag-hold itong uh, around dito nga, 50 pesos per share or 49.9 pesos per share. So, yan yung titingnan mo kasi kapag hindi ito nag-hold, pwede bumagsak dito at i-challenge yung up until 43.8 na support na gaya ng sinabi ko. Tapos, babanggain mo din siya sa general market, sa index natin. Kung magkakaroon ng retracement din itong mga stocks na to, so tutugma din dun sa sinabi ko na 7300 level persist at babagsak up until dun sa 7000 level na support. So, ganun din. So, ito yung titingan mo kasi I, I see a double top formation and I do not see a good opportunity for you to trade. Even here, kahit dito ka mga pasok, uh, hindi siya sustainable and wala nga siyang consistency kung kunwari dito yung trading system mo. You can make 10% pero hindi mo walang consistency. Okay, so ngayon silipin natin si BDO kasi nabanggit ko si BDO. Si BDO kasi kahit pa paano, malinis yung breakout niya. Okay, malinis yung breakout niya sa 120 pesos per share. Nagkaroon ng double top formation. On the third attempt, pwede magkaroon ng triple top. Pero kung makikita nyo, uh, malakas yung pagkaka-breakout. Dapat kung nakikita nyo medyo malakas yung pagkaka-breakout, dapat bumili ka na somewhere near dito sa may 120 pesos per share. Tapos i-hold mo na lang. So, sa mga may video, again, ito yung mga target prices, 137, 143, and 149 pesos per share. So, ayun lang. I hope na tulong itong pag-analyze natin ng mga stocks, sa mga watch list ninyo, in order for you to have a sound decision, whether you want to take the position or you want to trade it for the next week. So, sa mga hindi pa nakakapag-subscribe sa ating YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button para ma-hit natin yung goal natin na 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2021 and Ring the bell para at least kapag may mga bagong uploaded video tayo na mga ganito, nagtuturo tayo for free, eh manonotify kayo kaagad-agad. So, ayun lang. Good night and God bless.